Daisy. Um, William Blonda, originally from Zambia, South Central Africa. And um, I just want to introduce myself to the world. And, uh, I mean, I've seen a lot. And uh, I strongly believe that there is something, there is the, uh, the, there is the essence of my um, existence. And uh, it's something sometimes that you struggle with because it's like, you know, there's so many things that go wrong in life and that just makes us feel like, when is somebody going to be punished for this? There's so many episodes that we see in life that just makes you feel like, I mean, it's like, it's a situation where it's like you got shattered glass all over your face. It's like, you know, it's got to be a moment or a time that you got to have to get the shattered glass out of your face because you're in trouble. And, um, I mean, you can cry, we ask about life, what is this? And then you realize that it's the energy. And I've seen people try to exercise the power to show the world that I'm powerful. I can, you know, mess up everybody. You can do whatever you want. You have that. But I can, I can tell you Alexander the Great did that. Alexander the Great did that. But he regretted it. Because you can call yourself as powerful. And, you know, it's just within a second, it's going to be a conversion of your energy into something else. So it's, 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 it's like, it's a simple biological move to get rid of you. It's a very, very simple biological move that what you have to realize that now you've really figured out, like, you know, you look at life and the existence the way it is. You look at the plane, you look at the bird, you look at the dragonfly, you look at the helicopter, you look at the whole features that makes these uh, creatures uh, and also, you know, instruments to be able to operate. And you see that one thing was copied from something else. Do you know who made the dragonfly? Do you know who made the bird? I mean, you, you may have an idea that it goes back, I don't want to get so much into complications but you know what you know it is like you know it comes a time that we have to probably stop thinking that a greater power will probably come wearing a suit this particular type of a suit or, or, or a brand name suit it, it shouldn't be that you have to look at it as something that's the energy you really it, that thing that makes you feel wrong that makes you feel violated or something that makes you feel guilty about what you do. That's the inner soul. Something that is inside. That is the energy. Because you know when you dedicate to it, it's the energy. And yes, it's going to affect people. It's going to affect people. The way somebody can abuse you can affect the weather of the entire world. That's how powerful this is. It's just like don't take it for granted. That's all you have. You have so many things, millions billions of things around you but you're one of a kind you're one of a kind don't really owe anybody an apology for your existence yet you could reveal the analysis of you the analysis of you you have the overthesis for your existence that's basically what I'm trying to say something that you have to you have to keep to yourself and everything else can go you should be able to lock yourself just with that thing that you have and leave the rest down because that's all it, that's what that's what this thing is all about you gotta get to the core of the matter the core of the matter that is your existence is your energy and what you do with it and how you interact and how you communicate and how you deal with others it has an effect it's got an effect so you gotta look into that all right